I'm doing well. I'm doing better. Um, and I, I love what I said. I forgot what I said. I was just <laughs> watching it back while you played it. It's true, man. Like we, we don't grow from when things are going really well. You know, we like to think, well, we're really making incremental improvements. If you look back on your life, all the things that made you who you are was, was challenges. You know, that's the times you look in the mirror and you make a change. And I've, you know, I'm a student and a teacher. So I believe that God, if you don't believe in God, then you just say life. I believe life gives teachers pain because teachers need to learn how to overcome so then they can share those those learnings with others. And so I'm a student and I'm a teacher and I'm 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 grateful for the the unbelievable highs I've had in my life and I'm grateful for my life in general and if I'm grateful for my life in general then I have to be grateful for the pain as well. Mike, is this is part of this your creative process? Does it help in making music? Well, I thank God for music because it is one healthy place to express emotions like sadness, depression, rage, anger, fear. You know, to put that in a song is is a really healthy place to put that. So um, I thank God for my music. It's one of, one of the healthy ways I've, I've learned to deal with emotions, not the only way, but one way. Um, but it's not something I try to create to make better music. You know, uh, the art is there to alchemize the pain. You take the, the pain and make something beautiful out of it. Um, but if you're making pain to make something artistic, that's that's backwards. One of your next physical, I don't know if it's a challenge, but I know you're going to be doing something really cool up in Iceland. Um, and I know someone who's kind of interested in I'm super hearing interested. about Iceland. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm taking a group uh, curated trip of about 40, 50 people. Um, we have a few spots left um, to Iceland and we're doing work like this. We're going to be doing breath work. I'm a certified Wim Hof instructor, so I'll be, so I'll be leading that. We're going to be exploring and connecting nature, um, connecting with each other in a community of people that want to grow and take their lives to the next level. And uh most importantly, connecting with ourselves. And so we'll be doing a lot of like deep work and, and hopefully, fingers crossed, if the weather's good, we see some northern lights as well. 